Okay guys, so this is Jose again, coming back with another, with part two. It's been a long time, it's just, I haven't had a, a minute to actually sit down and do this. Um, but here I am uh, doing this, uh, part two of the Blitz. As you can see, I already sadly built the Blitz. Um, I was gonna do a, uh, how's my father-in-law? Um, he's here, you know, during COVID times, um, you know, just to stay around other people. He's better, but yeah. Anyway, aside from that, yeah, this is the uh, Blitzkin. It's already built the Master Grade. But yeah, I had I had wanted to make it where I was gonna do like the arms and the legs, not really the chest. Uh, I mean, there's not much you can do to show the head except that it goes, you know, a little backwards, forwards. You know, it doesn't really go that far, side to side. Um, you know, the arms are the usual articulation. Good bend. Pretty decent. Um, I will say the arms are pretty sturdy for this suit. The I'll get into some of the stuff that I don't like uh, a little later. Um, <clears throat> the legs, it has, a it has a really good bend. I think I had put this one in wrong because I heard a little snap um, but it looks like it's fine got a good band here like all of the GAT units they all have the same kind of band I don't think I'll be telling you or going over that again in another GAT unit uh, the foot pivot oh. you know side to side there you go you can see that it's going side to side forward not really backward that much because of this uh, this little uh, kind of spike section spike section here hits the uh, bottom of the leg and you know there there's a little ball joint in there I mean I have to constantly push this leg in there we go because it keeps coming out and that is one of the problems with this bubble suit uh, it's just really really not uh, the best and you know the hands these are like the um these are not so let me just show you the hand here there we go. so you know it has these manipulators where the uh it has like the open hand and it just fell off you know what i'm gonna leave that like that for now because i don't have i don't have the uh, heart to go get it at the moment but it fell off and again and i think that's something that i'm gonna get to right after this so again you get the usual you get the good color scheme purple really nice purple i lined it a little bit in the purple sections if you can see right in here a little bit in here thrusters you can catch that right there and right there right there a little bit here on the side i painted the eyes I'm not pretty sure if anybody's going to be able to see that. There you go. I painted the eyes blue. Uh, this crystal here in the middle is uh, red. They give you a sticker for that, but I just prefer to keep the actual um, color from the from the plate. I didn't paint this. There's like a little triangle here. If you can, I don't think anybody can see it here. But there's like a little triangle right there that's supposed to be yellow and black or yellow and red. Wasn't able to do that because my gun, the marker, I think it dried up. So I wasn't able to do that one. The hand. I see the hand. One second. Just wanted to get it to put it back on it. And uh, let me just show. Put this on here. Got it. Okay, so let's put the bubble suit over here. And these are the, uh, this is the weaponry that it comes with. And as you can see on the box, the claw is supposed to open up, and they do. They open up pretty well. So you can kind of recreate that pose from the box. Along with this, this little guided wire here, which you can use to attach here. And I think there's also like a little stand that comes with it. Um, that's supposed to hold this up. And this is supposed to, I believe, come out, I think somewhere in the arm, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, these are supposed to go in here. This little wire will connect to this, and it'll go shooting out, like the box here. Right, so we could put this one down. 
And then we get probably the best thing about this suit is this uh, shield. So this shield actually looks pretty cool. Uh, the beam saber is in here. You can pop the beam saber out. I'm afraid to, but yes, I can do it. I don't want to pop the actual beam off of it. There we go. So it comes with two beam sabers. Uh, I think it comes with one handle and two beam sabers. I didn't see the other one, so that's the beam saber. And, I mean, you could paint these darts, little white darts here up. I didn't really do it. I just, I just, my Gundam marker, my liner, the black liner that I have is kind of running out of uh, ink, I guess you could call it. But, you know, a really nice, so there's a little, there's two clear pieces right here and one right here. Um, some nice detailing. I think in the high grade, you probably have to paint this red or paint this little strip white. It probably comes all black. Uh, nice little detail. You probably have to paint this too yellow. I think in the high grade, these darts, also this handle bar over here, uh, these were white. I think all of this was just one white piece. Uh, I'm not going to attach it to the Gundam right now because you have to actually put the handle, the hand in this handle. And I guess we might as well just talk about that right now. So this Gundam, and I'll probably, it's probably going to factor into the um, verdict, I guess, of this Gundam. But since I'm doing the... In future ones, it'll be the articulation, part two, three will be the weapons and the actual MS, and the fourth will be the verdict. But for now, I can say that um, it's a really loose Gundam. I mean, I don't know if it's just mine or if other people have this issue. These little pieces back here fall off all the time. I didn't even know that this gray piece here had fallen off. These move a little bit, but they don't have much give, and the connector in here doesn't really go in all the way. This back piece, uh, also, it's really loose and it comes off whenever it wants to. The back skirt is okay. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be that way or just kind of flops up and down. You know, the, the side skirts, you can hear that. It's not really, you know, What's the word? It's not like it's on a poly cap and it's not really going to move that much. This is just kind of connected on pieces of plastic. These fall off too all the time. These little... I mean, you, it's cool because you have an accent color. Because you have something to break up all the black of the suit. But this falls off all the time. As you saw earlier, these hands don't stay on. Uh, I have no problem with the legs aside from that one thing that I mentioned. The knee that kind of popped. But it, it's fine, I think. I mean, in here, these this this leg comes off all the time, like if I move it too much. So, I mean, I think what I'm gonna do is just attach carefully all of these weapons. Like this can just attach to the arm. Like I don't need to put it on that guide wire, which I, I don't think I will. And it, it goes, it connects right here. There's a, the same poly cap. It connects over here. And you can just have it like that. You can have it look like that, or you can close it. And I appreciate all the detail on this suit. It's a really, really nice suit. Like, you don't really get many Gundams with this kind of color scheme where it's purple and red and black. I know this turns into the gold frame Gundam in uh, Gundam Astray. Is it Seed Astray or Gundam Astray? I don't remember. I never watched it. But, um, you know, again, you know, the weapons... You get pretty cool weapons. This is kind of loose. You have, to, you have to kind of kind of push this in together, and as you can see, they're coming apart or falling off. So you really have to be careful with this one. It's a little loose. It doesn't really stay all the way in. This handle's pretty good. But again, I think, see, let me just see if I can just attach it here without this stuff falling off. But you know what, I'm gonna angle the arm so none of these fall off. And I'm putting it like this because again, I just see, and now you can see these uh, darts are falling out. They're not really all the way in anymore. And I only did it like this because I don't want to put it in the handle, but I think when I display it, um, I'm obviously gonna put the hand like that. You get the closed fist, the, the hand, see, and is it coming off? No, it's not. You get the close fists, the ones for like weapons. 
these kind of expressive hands, which is kind of like this, open hand. Like I said, the one beam saber, two beams. I don't know why they couldn't give you two beam sabers and the guided wire. Again, I mean, not, not at all. I think for articulation, it's pretty good. The only problem is like it just falls apart. So you basically just have to build it. At least this is my mobile suit experience building. You have to build it and then never touch it again and kind of leave it somewhere where it'll, it's going to stand out if you have all the GATs, the GAT units. Um, but a very good unit, very good mobile suit, very interesting, very fun build, I think. By the time I get to the strike, it's probably going to be boring because I think they all have the same frame. So I think the Aegis, the Duel, and the Buster, and I think the Strike might be Strike 2.0, so maybe it'll be a different frame. Although this might be the same 2.0. Maybe this came out after the Strike 2.0. Not really sure. Um, but again, a really, really nice kit. Uh, really, really good colors. Um, I would I would say buy the Gundam markers and definitely paint them blue because... I had like a metallic blue, but I had to go with like my regular Gundam blue because my metallic one, all two of mine, I think dried out. But I haven't really been building Gundams and using blue metallic. There's not many Gundams that have blue eyes. Um, so it just probably dried out from non-use. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, make any comments, any likes if you want to. Um, you know, I just want to keep doing this because I really like these suits. They're really cool. Uh, and I'm probably going to do the Verdict one after this. And then we'll move on to the next Gundam, which uh, I'll probably reveal that, uh, you know, next time. Alright guys, so I appreciate everybody who watches. Thank you and have a great day. And uh, if you're in the Northeast or Texas, you know, stay warm. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.